Hello, and welcome to Blazing Star Farm. This week, it's all about asparagus. In our other video, we're putting in an asparagus patch. Today, we're making asparagus risotto. But I can't make a normal asparagus risotto. Those are all over the place out there. So we're gonna challenge ourselves a bit. Today, we are making a vegan asparagus risotto. And to up the ante a little bit more, we're not going to use any alcohol, and we're not going to use rice. We're using oats. All right, for this recipe, we will need a pound of asparagus, chopped in sized pieces, one 13 ounce package of spring peas, frozen, a half pound of mushrooms, sliced. Any mushroom will do. One large onion, diced. Three cloves of garlic, diced. Two teaspoons herbs de Provence. A half cup of pepitas or pumpkin seeds. Sunflower seeds would work here too. And a cup of steel cut oats. Now, since we're not using any cheese, we need to get umami and just depth of flavor somewhere. So for that, we have a quarter cup of nutritional yeast, a tablespoon of good old fashioned Marmite, and an ounce of soy sauce, fungus to help us. And lastly, we're gonna put in a little bit of apple cider vinegar just to add a bit of acidity at the end. So let's get cooking. All right, so chopping up asparagus. As always, you cut off the ends and we're going for bite-sized pieces today. I'm going to put several tablespoons of oil into my pot. This is the only fat we're adding to the entire dish. So yes, it's a lot of oil, but there is no cheese, so we had to do something. To this oil, once it gets nice and hot. All right, so we're adding in the onions. And could have been a little bit hotter, but this will work. You can hear I'm starting to sizzle. And we're gonna cook these for several minutes until they get nice and start to yellow and turn brown. All right, so this is starting to color up. It can go maybe a little bit longer, but this is pretty close to where we want it because it's going to keep cooking with the mushrooms. So next, I'm tossing in all of the mushrooms. along with a fair bit of salt. This is about a teaspoon. The uh, salt is going to help the mushrooms cook better and it's going to season our dish. We wanna get at least some salt in now before we start cooking the oats. This is gonna go for another five to seven minutes. All right, so it's been five minutes and the mushrooms have cooked up nicely and we've built a fair bit of fond in the pan. So now, let's move on to turning this into a risotto-like substance. First things, we're gonna add the oats straight to this hot pan. We're going to toss and toast them in here for a minute or two. Just like if you were doing risotto and tossing the rice in the oil. 
We're also gonna just kind of eyeball it, and I think I could probably use with just a smidge more oil here. So I'm gonna throw in another tablespoon. Maybe a little more than a tablespoon, but it's only calories. All right. So once these are starting to toast up, and you can't really smell them toasting, so you just kind of have to trust yourself. Sniffing this, all you're gonna smell is mushrooms and onions. I'm going to toss in the soy sauce and do a quick deglaze with the soy sauce. And then I will add the Herbes de Provence, the garlic, and a massive spoonful of Marmite. I'm not measuring this stuff because it's kind of too gloopy to measure easily. And then I'm going to add just enough water to get everything moving. I'll just scrape off a bit more Marmite. So the Marmite is going to be our primary flavor component in the seasoned broth it will replace what you would normally use chicken stock for. Now, you just kind of let this simmer, stirring occasionally for another 10 minutes. If it starts to dry up, we add more water. We're just gonna turn down the heat to medium. All right, it's been about three, four minutes. Actually, I know exactly how long it's been. It's been three and a half minutes. And you can see that most of the water has either evaporated or been absorbed by the oats. So it's time to add more. And I'm just gonna loosen everything back out again. And the, it can take a fair bit every time you add the water. And I just keep it moving. And at about 10 minutes, we're gonna add the vegetables. All right, so it's been 10 minutes and we're about halfway through the cooking time, or ex expected cooking time. The oats can be a little variable. So now it's time to add the asparagus. And the nutritional yeast. clearly need a bit more liquid after adding all that. So I'm gonna throw in a splash more water. And we're gonna let this go, adding water as needed for another 10 minutes. All right, so it has been another 10 minutes and things are starting to look like risotto. It's time to add our peas and our pepitas and do our final tweaks for flavor. So first thing first, peas. These take almost no time, even though they're still mostly frozen. They just need to thaw and we'll be good to go. For the pepitas. These are going to give us a little bit of crunch and more interest as we eat. And 
this is feeling a little stiff, so I'm going to give it a splash of water. Maybe just a little bit more. There we go. Risotto should kind of, it shouldn't hold its shape basically. So this is flowing the way I expect it to. Now for a taste. And just as I thought, it can do with a little bit of acid. So I'm going to give it a quick splash of apple cider vinegar. That was probably half a tablespoon. If you don't like vinegar, or if that makes you nervous, you can use lemon juice. Now, just a bit of black pepper. Get it into some bowls. The oats make a better risotto than rice does in many cases. They put out more starch and they have a better texture when cooked. The pepitas give us crunch, and this is probably 75% vegetables to start with, so I'm gonna call it healthy, despite all the oil I put in. Hopefully, you can get some inspiration or just try this recipe as is. The recipe is in the description, and there's a link to it on our website as well. As always, if you liked this, Hitting that like button would give us a big boost. And please remember to subscribe. And if you can, tell your friends. Thanks again. Until next time.